Tokyo is a large city that takes at least a few days just to see the city center. But Japan has a lot of different places to see. And I understand not everyone can have a long holiday just in Tokyo. So today I'd like to show you Tokyo in a day. Hello, I'm in Tokyo Shibuya by the Scramble Crossing. Today I'd like to see if we can see in Tokyo in one day. So to make it simple, I only use Tokyo Metro's Ginza Line. Ginza Line is the oldest subway in Tokyo that opened in 1927. It connects east side of Tokyo city center Asakusa and west side Shibuya, going through the major neighborhoods such as Ueno and Ginza. To start with the trip, I got this Tokyo Metro 24 hour ticket for 600 yen at the machine. With 200 yen more, you can get 24 hours pass that you can also use for Toei subway. I decided to start from Shibuya and finish in Asakusa. Later in the day, you can do more shopping in the east side of Tokyo and finish your day. So let's start from Shibuya. This is the Tokyo Metro Ginza Line to Shibuya Station. Let's start from here. The first station we get off is right next to Shibuya, Omote Sando. Omote Sando is the main street continues to the Meiji Jingu Shrine. There are lots of shops along the street, and it's like a laid back version of Ginza. On the other side of Omote Sando, there is a busy town of Harajuku. All of these areas are walkable from Shibuya. So, if you like to enjoy the stroll in this area, you can walk here or stay longer. For now, let's just take a photo and go. On the other side of the station is a more high-end quiet street that residential area and brand shops are mixed. This area is called Minami Aoyama. Next, let's go to Gaien Mai. Next, I get off at Gaien Mai station. Gaien means the outer area of the Meiji Jingu Shrine and it has a lot of sports facilities such as national stadium and baseball stadium. It's a home base of the Yakut Swallows, one of the two baseball team of Tokyo. So let's head to the Jingu Stadium first. On the other side of the stadium, there are several coffee shops and restaurants, so you can take a break or just sit on the bench along the street. This place is famous for the autumn leaves. Let's walk to Aoyama Ichome Station and go back to Ginza Line. Next stop is Akasaka Mitsuke. The tip of this station is you can change to Marunouchi Line, the same platform. Marunouchi Line is also the second oldest subway in Tokyo, so has a short platform. Akasaka Mitsuke Station is in the city center of Tokyo. There are major hotels such as Hotel New Otani and office buildings of companies and government. Between Akasaka Mitsuke Station and Tameike Sanno Station, there is a Hie Shrine. So this is a Hie Shrine. It's right next to the Prime Minister's house. So it's a lot of security people. It's May and already hot. Behind the Hie Shrine, there is a National Diet Building. If you are interested in politics, it's a good place to go. Now let's go back to Ginza Line from Tameiki Sanno Station. And next stop is Ginza. Now I am in Ginza, the major shopping street of Tokyo. Ginza is known as a luxury shopping area. But Ginza is not just that. Ginza is like the showcase of the Japan that you can see lots of different casual brands started in Japan. Also, Japan's local government also has shops that you can purchase local products. And also, many Japanese companies have museums and showrooms in Ginza. Mm -hmm. 
and in the east side of Ginza, there is a Kabukiza theater. In the day, you might not have a time to watch the show, but you can go to the basement to see a lot of souvenirs from the Kabukiza theater and Tokyo. If you are interested in Ginza, please also check my Ginza travel video that I introduced different ways that travelers can enjoy Ginza. Now I are at the Suehirocho station and Suehirocho station is actually close to Akihabara station. So you can see the one of the most popular area in Tokyo, Akihabara. So we are here now, Suehirocho station is here. However, in case you want to go directly from Ginza to Akihabara, you can also take Tokyo Metro Hibiya line. That also goes to right under the Akihabara station. Akihabara is like a paradise if you like anime, figures, and gaming products. But even if you are not interested in it, it's a very interesting place to walk around, and also there are lots of restaurants that you can eat at. Now we are getting hungry, so let's eat ramen right in front of Akihabara station. Akihabara is a really fun place to walk around. So now let's go back to Suehirocho station and head to next stop, Ueno. Ueno used to be a main terminal of Tokyo for people going to the north of Japan. Now it's replaced by Tokyo Station, still very busy terminal. Ueno is another must visit spot in Tokyo that uses the busy streets that you feel the downtown side of Tokyo. What you can find right in front of the Ueno Station is Ameyoko Street. Right across from the busy street, there are vast Ueno Park. Ueno Park has many shrines and temples inside that you can see the scenes that changes depends on the season. Also, it's a home of many museums. If you have only one day, something you might want to see is a national museum. If you like a museum, it's a good idea to spend some more time There's about in Ueno Museum. If you have time to go just one museum, let's head to the Tokyo National Museum. You can see the history of Japanese art, from the Buddhism statue to sword and paintings. Now this is Kaichuri coming close to the end of today. Only three more left. Next, let's get off at Tawara Station, one station before Asakusa. This station is close to the one street that is getting popular among foreign tourists, which is called Kappabashi Street. This street has lots of shops that are selling now kitchen goods and day, plastic so imitation the food that is popular as a souvenirs. After you see the street, let's walk to Asakusa. Without doubt, Asakusa is the most popular tourist spot in Tokyo and a must-visit place if you haven't been. 
the Kaminari Mon Gate to the Sensoji Temple is connected by the long shopping street called Nakamise. The streets are always busy with tourists enjoying shopping. This is the best spot to purchase as typical souvenirs, such as keychains, t shirt with Tokyo's logo, and you see lots of shops that are selling the street snacks. That was one of the ideas for spending a day in Tokyo. At night, you might be able to proceed to Tokyo Skytree for the bird's eye view of Tokyo by Tobe Skytree line, or you can also walk along the train line. If you like to stay in the busy streets, you can also go back to Shibuya and enjoy the night scene of the Shibuya. Have a great trip to Tokyo. Have a great week. Until the next video.